Look at these beauties. These are some strawberry plants I ordered off of Etsy. I've been doing a few orders to get some of the plants that I want since I either can't source them locally or this is more price efficient for me. This is a horseradish that I ordered on the same day. Um, I guess horseradish is not very popular around here. I couldn't find it. So I ordered it offline. And both of these, strawberries and horseradish, are perennials. So I'm trying to build up my perennial garden so that I have less to do. All right, so we're gonna get these strawberries in the ground. I've got my dirt ready, prepped and wet, and I'm gonna plant these about six inches apart from each other. It's about, it's an estimate. I think they'll be fine. And with the strawberry plants, they're sort of dormant right now. Um, they did come from up north of me, so they're used to more cold weather, but we're gonna have a few snaps of cold weather before it's all said and done. So I'm just gonna get these in the ground now. I think it's best when you order plants offline to get them in the ground the day you get them. That way you know that they're they're gonna have a good start. Now right now their root systems are small but I recently dug up one of my old strawberry plants and its root system was massive. So these guys may be getting transplanted. I'm always moving things around in my garden, but um, hopefully with these perennial plants, I will get permanent places for them and that will be where they stay. My dream is that this bed will be overflowing with strawberries soon. Okay, so now they're all tucked in. I'm adding hay just for insulation with this snow and cold weather that's coming. I just want to keep them insulated right now and this is my way of doing it. So I have a few strawberry plants left over that didn't fit in the bed. I'm going to move them over to my onion bed, my walking onions because they're good companion plants. And I am going to get this horseradish bulb into the ground. And like I said, I had trouble sourcing horseradish. I guess it's just not that popular. It's really good for making fire cider and for cold season. So I definitely wanted to have that as one of my staple plants in my garden. So here we go with that and hopefully it grows well too. Now that I have all these new plants tucked in and put to bed, I'm gonna water them in and I'll water them occasionally throughout this month, keep them moist and that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm going to add the information from the company that I got these from. And you can check them out yourself if you're interested in getting some. Thanks for watching.